the numbers mean a murder. Um, SJ is for the city I live in. On my fingers, I have XIV and four dots for the gang I represented. The lifestyle I was into, I was so deep into it, I, did, I didn't care at that point. Once he pulled his gun out and put that cold steel to my face, I realized, man, this is, this is it. I'm gonna die right here and there ain't nobody to save me. I'm not sure, I think I was like 10, 11 years old when I first got my tattoo. Um, the guys in my neighborhood welcomed me in. They told me, you're part of the Vario now. You want, you want to really be part of the Vario? Let me put some ink on you. So I said, okay. And my first tattoo was really painful. And ever since from I got my first tattoo, I ended up getting addicted to them. And I wanted my tattoos all to be visible so everyone can see them. That made me a, a walking target. And that's where this all started. I went from experiencing you know, drugs, alcohol, to getting tattoos, you know. Really, really just wanted to fit in. I felt, I felt approved by people. And before at home, I didn't have that. You know, people used to pick on me. So with, with that, it just felt like I, I felt like they loved me. They gave me five years, my first time ever in jail. Um, after the five years, after I did almost four, I did three years and 10 months. After I was released, then I realized that was not the life I wanted to live. Um, at that point when I realized I had to change was when it became a life or death situation where the enemy used one person basically in front of a, a, a crowd full of people where he didn't care if he got caught if he murdered somebody. He pulled a, When he pulled a gun to my face and told me to leave and I refused to leave the certain area and I wasn't going to back down from him. So once when he pulled the trigger and nothing came out, I realized right there, I need to fight for my life if I want to continue to go on for the next day. Uh, I heard about it from a friend who was in the program who had tattoos and he had at first, I didn't believe it, but then he was like, "Yeah, hey, I'm getting one removed. So he had ones on his face, hands, arms. Then after like three years, they were gone. Clean Slate Tattoo Removal Program uh, is a program that serves um, residents of the city of San Jose um, for between the ages of 14 and 25 and removing tattoos that are visible. Um, as part of our requirements, we look at, you know, making sure that if the individual is willing to go ahead and do 30 hours of community service, um, as well as um, attending a seven-week life skills group, and they also just, we encourage them to continue to make sure that they're working, going to school, or at least in a job readiness program. Uh, and one of the main focuses is that, you know, we just like to know that they're also gang-free. The tattoos totally do, don't describe who I really am. So when people see it right away, they think I'm this thug or this gang man, but... I'm just like any other person, so with that in mind, I wanted to say, you know, well, if I'm gonna change myself, my attitude, my mentality, I'm gonna go back to school, I'm gonna work, I wanna remove my tattoo, so I change all the way, you know? My plans right now is I want to, uh, right now I'm currently enrolled into San Jose State. Um, I want to finish there with, well, I'm going to get my bachelor's in, in business. I'm, I'm amazed at what they've accomplished. So many clients are going to school, getting degrees, going on to college, you know, creating their families. A lot of, a lot of young folks that, you know, have moved on in the program that are, are doing great. So right now all, all me and him are waiting for is for a job to come in and we'll start with these tattoo removals. I'm gonna ask her today, I'm gonna do it today. I thought, no, 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 you're too scared. I said, I'm scared, but I'm gonna do it. 
I just got all pale. I was so nervous. My whole face just turned white. Then I told her, I got on my knee, one knee, and I asked her, will you marry me? And this is the ring that I got her.